Entropy is an idea in of thermodynamics that tends to be confusing, but it really doesn't. Happen. It's just the idea that things tend to proceed to order, or perhaps we might say that things become more we proceed in the direction of what is most likely. So we could illustrate that from a chemistry standpoint with the idea of diffusion. So in diffusion, we have particles moving from high concentration to low concentration. Consider, for instance, we add a drop of food coloring, and the coloring slowly spreads out. Why does it do that? Well, we know this is everyday experience, but why does that happen at a, for, at a fundamental level? Well, the answer is entropy. Let's think about it. So let's say I have two divisions on this circle. And in my circle, I have one bead. Now, what is most likely? Is it most likely that the one bead will be on the left? If we're shaking this around, random motion says that Half of the time it's going to be on the left, half of the time it's going to be on the right. So if we do that enough, we'll get pretty much 50-50% half on the left, half on the right. Now what if, I, what if I do this? What if I have quarters? Alright, so once again we see that each quarter will get, will fall into each quarter roughly one quarter of the time. So if I wanted to know how often it's going to end up in this one quarter, it should be one quarter. So notice that we went from a probability of one half to a probability of one quarter. So there's 50% of the time to 25% of the time. So as we increase the number of possible locations that the bead could be in, the probability is decreasing that it will be in one of those possible locations. Now if we continue to add more locations, this probability would also continue to decrease. But there's another factor as well, the number of beads. So if I put two beads in there, how likely is it that it, both of them will end up in one quarter. Oh, I got one of them. It's likely to end up, so likely will end up one where it becomes even less likely. And if I have a whole bunch of all going to end up at one square, even less likely the more beads we have and the more possible things we have. So in diffusion, kind of like this. So all the particles start off in one spot and they slowly spread out from that one spot. Now if all the beads started off in one spot, this is our beginning state. Is it likely that they're going to stay there given random process, process involved? So the random motion says that over time they're going to spread out to what is more likely, the more likely arrangement, which is a more even distri dis distribution of the particles. So this is, this is what happens with diffusion. Particles are moving randomly, and as a result, they move high concentration to low concentration, and they also increase in entropy. So they are, they are moving towards what is more likely or more probable, and that is duration of the second law of thermodynamics. So entropy is just this idea that process things to go towards what is more probable 
And it's one of the, the key driving forces behind chemical processes reactions. So we have entropy the, in combination with entropy, entropy in combination with entropy, so energy and the probability are the factors that influence uh, a process spontaneously or not.